ASMR. Hey everybody, um, it's going to be a super short video today because it's really hard to make a video over the weekend. Um, but today I thought I would talk about one of my favorite presents that I've ever received. And maybe in tomorrow's video, I'll talk about my favorite present that I've ever given. Um, so I'm going to tap on the favorite present that I've ever received. So, I grew up in Maine, and um, when I married my husband, he was in the military, and we ended up moving around a lot, but a few years ago, I ended up staying with my parents for a while, and um, I got to see my uh, younger sister quite a bit, and we kind of bonded again we hadn't seen each other in quite a while. Um, and um, as some of you might realize, you know, from my tattoos, <laughs> and um, some of the shirts that I wear, and I've talked about it before, I'm a big Doctor Who fan. I actually haven't even watched um, the last season yet. I need to catch up, but um, yeah. And one of my favorite stores back home in Maine at the Maine Mall um, is called Newberry Comics. And at Newberry Comics, they have a lot of like dorky, geeky stuff that I like, like fandom stuff, like Doctor Who, Game of Thrones, Harry Potter. Um, they have lots of pop figures. They have old records. They have band t-shirts. They have um, lots of 80s movie memorabilia and um, cult classic stuff. Just a lot of fun, dorky stuff that I'm into. And my sister and I loved to shop there. Um, and I happened to notice this snow globe there one of the times that we were shopping. Um, and I remember that while we were shopping, um, we loved looking at the socks. Because they had Bigfoot socks, they had Freddy Krueger socks, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, and, you know, I mentioned offhandedly, is that the right, I don't know, I mentioned randomly, let's just use that phrase, that I thought this was really cool. Um, and that was about it, we didn't really have a conversation about it. Um, and, like, I'm pretty sure that that year I bought her a couple of Disney pop figures that were glitter. She's really into Disney and Beauty and the Beast. Um, she goes to Disneyland and Disney World a lot. I'm really jealous. Um, but her and her husband don't have any kids and it's just them, so, you know, they can do more stuff like that. Um, but anyway, so that Christmas morning, um, after all the presents were almost opened, she handed me a box, and I started to open it, and my mom's like, you're really gonna like this, and I held it for a minute, and I just stopped and thought, and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, and I just knew that that's what was in it. I don't even know really how it was that I knew because I had totally forgotten that we had even seen this. But lo and behold, when I opened it, this is what was inside and like, I was just so genuinely surprised and happy um, that I almost cried because I just thought that was such a thoughtful gift. So this is one of my favorite gifts that I've ever received. Um, it does light up a little bit 
but I don't have any batteries in it. So, yeah, it's, for those of you that don't know, it's Doctor Who's TARDIS, his little blue police call box, basically a phone booth uh, that he flies around in and goes back in time. I don't know if that makes good sound. You know, I don't want to break it. That would just be my luck. But yeah. So I think tomorrow I will talk about, you know, gifts that I've given people that I liked. I have one in mind. Um, so yeah, if anyone's watching this. Um, let me know what your favorite gift that you have received. If you can, even if you can't think of your most favorite. Um, just a gift that you really enjoyed. Um, I'm sure that I got a lot of gifts when I was younger that I really liked. I just thought I would talk about this one because I was just so genuinely surprised and, you know, thankful because it's not something I asked anybody for. She just saw that I liked it and got it for me, so... I really love snow globes. You know, if I could afford to, I'd love to collect them. Um, you know, a lot of them are fairly expensive, though, and I'd be so worried because I have two cats that are, you know, very much into climbing and trying to touch things and knock things over, so. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's today's video. Sorry if you can hear uh, my son or my husband out there playing games. Uh, my son got, um, he finally got, I think it was his last Fallout crate from Loot Crate. I don't know what was going on with that company. I think they kind of fell apart and a new company bought it. And, um, because my son had two subscriptions to Loot Crate, the Halo box, and the Fallout crate, and the, the boxes were coming like months and months and months and months late, and I think he finally got his last one the other day because I think that they have stopped doing the Fallout and the Halo crates. I'll have to double check, but anyway, he got a, um, he got a, um, checkers set got a Fallout checkers set, and the checkers are actually, um, fake bottle caps for the, uh, Nuka-Cola, if you're familiar with Fallout, and he and my husband have been playing that a lot, which is pretty cool, because it's nice, you know, to take a break from the actual, like, video games and stuff, even if it's inspired from the video game, but anyway, okay, I am done.